Hey everyone, so I'm back. So it's been a while and I think I just needed something exciting to share with you guys and I think I have found it. So welcome to my channel. This is Sue May Every Day. I am Sue May. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, um, please do so. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a little while, but you know, a lot of things have happened and that has kind of kept me away. So, but I'm hoping to make a comeback now, have some fun things to share, and I just kind of miss this a little bit. Just real quick, I'm not going to go into why I've been away. A lot of things kind of happened and didn't happen. I actually was supposed to go to Paris around April um, with my sister-in-law. I even did a Paris video and everything. I might kind of show it somewhere here, uh, just a little clip. Yes, I had the beret and everything everything and it just didn't happen so I don't regret it um, didn't go but you know what Paris will always be there so I do plan to finally make the trip there one day back today to kind of share something with you guys I thought I was pretty much done for luxury items but then my sister-in-law decided since we canceled our France trip she ended up planning another trip I guess to Spain and London I declined to go but I'm like hey maybe you could pick me up something I started to make my list of all of the things that I would want. A lot of it was coming from like my Paris wish list and it just kind of brought me back into the luxury game, I guess. But as I started to kind of research again on Louis Vuitton, I saw like a lot of things that I really wanted. So my list was growing and growing and growing. While I was shopping, I added a lot of things onto my wish list on the Louis Vuitton site. And as any good stalker, um, you know, I would hit the refresh button on a lot of the things that were not available. And finally, one of those refresh buttons finally hit and it became available. And I just could not help myself. So I have three items here. I'm gonna start from smallest to largest. All three items here, I believe, are in their own way difficult to get. I guess they're, they are considered unicorns. I think especially the big one here. Didn't think I was gonna be able to get the big one. The little ones, they come on and off, but I think more so off availability. So refreshing um, and stocking is a highly recommended technique if you really want some items that are hard to get and my key tip if you stalk you will get it so I don't know if you guys remember I am not big on undoing these little bows here it's like so perfectly done I'm just gonna push it to the side here and what did I get A little SLG here and I got the monogram clay. This was something that was kind of on my radar. I kind of wanted it, but then I was like, do I really need it? But honestly, do we really need any of this stuff? That's a very versatile piece. Some of you may be thinking, you know what, this is pretty easy to get, but I don't know. When I was researching, it was really not available for like the past, I would say, few days when I was intensively looking up the things that I really wanted. And then this finally popped up, snagged it up. Uh, don't regret it. I mean, this is definitely something I could use. Definitely see putting credit cards in there, coins, you could put your keys, obviously you could connect this to your bag. Many, many uses for this. This does come in like the three different canvases. Um, this is the monogram. It also comes in the Damia bin and also the um, Azor as well. And because I am a set person, if it comes in multiple patterns, I kind of want to get it in like all of the patterns. But I will admit, I'm not a big Damia Azor person just only because I think it's beautiful. I feel like it's just too high maintenance for me. Um, I mean, there's been many times where I've been, I've, I have been tempted, but never enough. So here is the second one here and same thing. It's the key clay and the damia bin. Same thing. It's, it's very versatile. Definitely use it. Sorry. I think it's like has a little lint on it. I think it's really cute and I'm excited to see what I could use it with and I just really had to share. It was just so exciting and getting these. Happy to add to my collection. And now this piece. I've seen hours and hours of videos on this bag. I've seen probably hundreds of thousands of pictures on Instagram, people with this bag. It's made me lust for this bag for inconceivable reasons sometimes. I clicked refresh and this was placed to cart. I started to shake a little bit. 
so weird. I don't know if any of you guys like get this excited. It was just one of those impulse buys for me. Did not plan on getting it. I really was just researching to add things onto my wish list for my sister-in-law's Spain, London trip. And the next thing you know, you know, I, I click place the cart and then um, I'm adding my credit card. No, I'm lying. I already have an account so everything's saved. And the next thing you know, I'm, I'm, I'm placing the order. And the next thing you know, I'm getting like a confirmation of like the tracking that it's on its way and it's here now mind you i have never seen this in person i don't know anyone who actually owns this bag so i never got to touch feel like actually get a sense of the sizing or anything about this bag but oh my god okay here we go i got yes the Palm Springs Mini in the monogram. Look how cute it is. It, it took my breath away just because it was just so, so, so cute. I still can't believe I have this. I mean, just look at it, guys. It's, it's, it's so cute. It's like the epitome of cuteness for Louis Vuitton. Like, whoever decided, like, you know what? Let's make a school bag and let's make it, like, teeny tiny like adorable when i got it so excited to add to my collection i couldn't wait and just you know to like conquer the challenge basically of being able to get one i know for the non-luxury people i they're not gonna get it but for those of you who understand like come on i was able to get this so i got this and yes i haven't put the straps on or anything yet only because and i know for those of you who are sensitive like maybe you could turn off this video now or like cover your ears i don't know if i want to keep it yes you heard me right i don't know if i want to keep it hear me out let me start with the pros it's so cute i could totally see fitting my phone in here and yes i have the new iphone 11 pro max i could totally see fitting my new like clays in here a wallet sunglasses all the good stuff that i would need carrying my essentials definitely could do it it's really hard to get and i was able to get it i feel like this will hold its value like if i ever decided to keep it use it for a while and if i you know decide like hey you know what i'm not using this as much i could definitely sell it so those are one two two three those are three pros that i could think of um off the top of my head cons now the cons probably will only pertain to me it's expensive for this little thing retail for one thousand nine hundred and forty dollars right now with tax i can't see myself using this every day i mean some people definitely do i'm just saying for myself I'm definitely not using this to work this is definitely like a weekend bag going out you know maybe errands and whatnot so it's expensive for what it is it's a little practical for me you know i'm not gonna lie it's very impractical for me it will fit my essentials but on the weekends i do tend to carry a little bit more i carry my mini pochette that has all my little you know accessories i, ha I have kids so i'm gonna carry a lot of things with me you know lotions and tissues and wipes and water bottles so this definitely wouldn't carry all this this would be like going out with like the girls or going out by myself which is it doesn't happen that often for me fortunately right now so it would be impractical practical for me one thing that it's been mentioned in all the videos the zipper like seriously louis vuitton like you're charging i mean i paid over two thousand dollars for this like <sighs> It's tough. I hear it on all the videos, and it's one of those things like I'm not that I'm not believing you guys. I totally believe you guys. It's one thing to hear it, and then another thing to actually experience it. Yes, it is a little difficult, and I could see while you know having it on like as a crossbody, which I probably intended to use as this would definitely be difficult to open and close with one hand. I would. This is definitely a two-hand open and close operation bag. I mean, for other bags that I would consider purchasing that's a no-no for me usually you know I, I, that's one of the main things that people check you check the zippers to see if it's like loose enough I mean I, I debated whether or not I could possibly put something on here to loosen it up a little bit to make it like slide a little smoother but then I'm like I don't want to ruin the bag if I put any type of you know chemicals paying this amount of money should not require this much thought to make the bag work and then also you know again all the videos have shown this little 
small pocket is basically useless. It's basically useless. Again, zipper is difficult to open. And then once you open it, like you could barely get like two fingers in. And I mean, you could definitely fit like a lip balm, a lipstick in there, but good luck trying to get this out with one hand. Definitely tight. And that's a little disappointing for me. I really, really wanted to love this bag. Aesthetically, I do. I think it's the most adorable bag. If I had the budget and made that type of money to afford bags that I just wanted to add to my collection just for the heck of it, I would definitely keep this. I mean, I would never get rid of this. But I am not in that situation. I need bags to not only look good, I need it to actually work for me. Trust me, it hurts me. Like, it hurts me deeply. Because when I first opened it, I thought, oh my god, this is so cute. I can't wait to add it to my collection. That was my first thought. And then when I brought it home and like really, really played with it, and I was like, I don't think this is gonna work, you know? Like, I'm trying so hard to justify it. Some of you out there are probably gonna think I'm nuts to give this up. Ugh. It, it, it just hurts. I really, really, really wanted to love it enough to keep it. So with that being said, I think I've made up my mind. Trust me. I've had this for about a week now. I have gone back and forth in my head so much regarding this bag. So it definitely was a difficult decision. I mean, I hope I don't regret it. I probably will down the line. I mean, just like anything else, basically. But at the end of the day, this just had too many cons than pros for me. It just doesn't work for me. But I'm just happy that I was able to see it. We're gonna say bye to this baby. I didn't even bother taking the straps out. It's still in there. I'm trying to keep it as pristine as possible. I mean, I was only take it out if I knew I was gonna keep it. So I guess this is an announcement video and a farewell video at the same time. So I am filming this video after my sister-in-law has returned from her London, Spain trip. And she was able to procure a bag for me and a little SLG that I wanted on my list. So I also have that in my hands and I guess I'll do that in another video because I'm actually keeping that one. So anyway, goodbye mini Palm Springs. It was really nice to meet you. I hope you go to a nice home. Who knows, if I hit the lottery, maybe you'll come back into my life. You never know. So, it might have been a little rusty. I'm just coming back. This is probably like my first real video. Just trying to, you know, find fun things. I'm probably gonna get into more like everyday things. So, I mean, if you're gonna be into that, don't forget to hit subscribe. I will have some luxury things every once in a while. Um, I know it seems like it's just luxury things already. Before I went on my little sabbatical hiatus, I had a lot of videos that were already recorded. They just needed to be edited. So you might see like an old video pop up. I don't know. I'm debating whether or not I want to, you know, upload those. But they were of a lot of things that I also picked up. And, you know, I'll see if I, if it's even worthy enough to share. So with that, Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope to be back a little bit more regularly now. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone.